This video is brought to you by the award-winning prop firm, Fidel Chris. Rightio folks, welcome to this first in a three-part series on support and resistance trading. You're going to learn a strategy by the end of it. Jamie Palmer is in the house here, past guest of the show, to show you how it all works. I learned about five or six things in these three videos. You're going to get the first video today. Jamie goes into it in a lot of detail as well. So you guys are going to find some value in here and learn a thing or two you didn't know about support and resistance and trading it and coming up with a strategy around it as well. So folks, without further ado, let's hear from my sponsor and then get on with the show. Fidel Crest is an award-winning prop firm that funds traders with up to $2 million and offers generous profit splits up to 90%. So one thing that really sets Fidel Crest apart is their no minimum trading days requirement on their challenge and verification stages. On top of that, traders who successfully pass the challenge and verification stages are eligible to receive a bonus payout of up to 30K on top of their funded stage profit split payout on performance. And be sure to use promo code TRADINGNUT, all one word, to get 10% off your next challenge. Click the link in the description below or the card above to find out more. Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Palmer and I'm going to be doing a three part series on mastering support and resistance exclusively for CAM, the Trading Nut channel. This is video one. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to support and resistance and tell you why it's so successful and profitable. Video two, we're going to be talking about identifying support and resistance, but not just identifying any support and resistance, identifying the right levels of support and resistance that we can profit from. Then video three is going to start to put everything together that I've taught you, introduce the strategy so you can get some high win ratio, high big risk reward trades. So let's jump straight into it. Let's keep it short and sweet. The only way you can move price is if you buy it or sell it. It's the only way you can move price. So if price is going up, there's more buyers. And if price is going down, there's more sellers. Now we can go into a little bit deeper and talk about liquidity and imbalance and say that price travel travels in the direction of liquidity. But if that was the case and price was traveling up in the direction of liquidity for perhaps manipulation and then drop in price, it means at that time somebody is buying it to sell it. So in the most simplest way to make money, we need to understand where the majority of buyers and sellers are. Are. Now, the market will move for many different reasons. People are buying and selling it every second of the day because they're de seeing different things, perhaps support and resistance, order blocks, imbalances, Fibonacci tracement levels, trend lines, whatever, right? Every minute of the day, people are buying and selling it. What I'm going to teach you is how to trade support and resistance because that's where the majority of buyers and sellers are. Even if, even from an institutional level, and you're trading liquidity, perhaps manipulation, smart money concepts, you will find liquidity above and below support and resistance, okay? If there is a support line, you can almost guarantee that they're gonna, there's going to be stop losses below that support line. So what banks and institutions want to do is want to take out that liquidity, drop price, and then push it higher, okay? So if you're trading liquidity, you've got to understand where the support and resistance are. You've got to understand where the buyers and sellers are. Now, there's two types of support and resistance, I like to call it. There is static support and resistance and active support and resistance. So static support and resistance is support and resistance that is just sitting there. Now, this could be considered an institutional level, supply and demand level, whatever you want to call it. I have a saying in trading that, it doesn't matter what you call levels. What I want to teach you is how to spot the levels on the charts. What you call it makes no difference. It's not going to make you a better trader by understanding every single trading term. Okay, it's about seeing these levels on the chart. But let me give you an example now between static and active support and resistance. Now, static support and resistance is support and resistance that would just sit there. You can consider it supply and demand level, an institutional level. It's just a support and resistance level that is sitting there. Now, majority of the time, this is the most manipulated support and resistance level because everybody can see it, the banks, the institutions, and most beginners mark up their support and resistance like this as well. However, there is also a missing piece of that puzzle that is active support and resistance, which we'll cover after this. So active uh, static support and resistance is basically support and resistance that is sitting there, okay? Price will bounce all the way from it, okay? So you've got a support line here, you have a resistance. It's just sitting there, it's doing nothing. 
Active support and resistance is support and resistance that is happening now, okay? And this is the most important part. So price will come down to a supply and demand level or static support line. And what you'll get is you will get active support and resistance levels like this here, okay? And this is where we buy and sell from because it tells us the level that we want to buy and sell from and also which direction price is heading from, okay? So you've got static, you've got active. Break and retouches if you wanna call that, okay? To give an example on GPUSD, let's look on the daily. We have a nice area of support just here, okay? And if we actually zoom in, we've got manipulation, typical, okay? Price is being manipulated, price comes down, take it, takes out stop losses, drives price up. The reason why that's happened is because that is considered static support and resistance. Literally, right, you, I mean, this is the daily time frame. So everybody seen price come all the way down to this support line here, which meant everybody was buying from this support line, stop losses were below that, everybody's getting stopped out okay that is not how you want to buy and sell from support and resistance once you've got static support and resistance and prices come down to it you then want to start to mark up active support and resistance so if you go to the one hour now okay and i find that level somewhere around here let me find you that level here we go here Active support and resistance, okay, is support and resistance that is happening now, okay? So I'll mark two just here as well, okay? Just here. So what you'll find now, okay, is you need to have both support, static, and active together, okay? So obviously, we got our static support line here. Everybody that bought here got stopped out by this manipulation. Now, what I want to do is I want to mark up the previous highs and lows. These are what becomes active support and resistance. So give an example here. This is the previous low, previous low before that, what a previous high. This is the low, this is the new low, okay? So downtrend. However, here we have an uptrend just here. See that? And then we have a lower high, and then we have a higher high, higher low, okay? So if we just follow price now, price comes down, Price comes up, creates a new high. See that? Comes down and retouches. So this here, okay, is considered active. It's not probably going to be respected in the future, but right now it will be. This is what you call active. Break and retouch. And again, break and retouch here. These are active. And again, you will follow price like this here as it carries on creating higher highs. If I just mark it up here, okay, there we go there. You see, keep following all the way up like this here. And these are the buy and sells. That we, these are the levels that we want to buy and sell from. Now, we'll cover it in a little bit deeper in the next video. But just to give you an example on why these two are very, very important to have both of them together. When you are drawing your support and resistance, okay, let's go back to a blank chart. Most people draw their support and resistance by going, Da, 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 random line. They put a random line there and they go back in the charts and they find a reason why that line is being respected or should be respected. So let me try and zoom out here. Okay, uh, let's go to the daily. Okay, here, look. Okay, see that nice little bounce off that support line? Okay, and perhaps here, look, we got a nice rejection there as well. Perhaps around here as well. Definitely rejection there. That is not the right way you want to be drawing your support and resistance, okay? What happened in the past happened in the past. It's totally irrelevant. It doesn't matter now. Last week, price could have been in an uptrend. This week, price could have been in a downtrend. The way we mark our support and resistance is what is happening now on the charts. Why is that very important? Going back to active support and resistance. If price is in an uptrend, resistance is going to be broken. Support is going to be held. Okay, resistance is going to be broken, support is going to be held, and again, if price is in a downtrend, then uh, support is going to be broken, resistance is going to be held. Okay, that is the missing piece to the puzzle. If last week price was in an uptrend and resistance was being broken, support was being held, and this week price is in a downtrend, which means support's being broken, resistance is being held, it's the complete opposite 
right? That's not how you want to draw support and resistance. So next week, we're going to start to put, or in the next video, we'll start to put everything together and we'll start to mark up the correct support and resistance levels that we should be buying and selling from and the ones that we can take trades from and profit from. So I will see you in the next video. All right, folks, I'm here at Black Bull Markets headquarters in Auckland, New Zealand. You can see this amazing view behind me of Auckland Harbour. Now, talking about views, if you do want to get free TradingView Pro, then you, all you need to do is trade one lot a month at Black Bull Markets, and they're going to give you free TradingView Pro. So, folks, to find out more, click the link in the description below or the card above. So there you have it folks, active and static support and resistance. Now I didn't even know they existed until watching this video and I hope you learned a thing or two as well. Also we've got episode 2 and 3 dropping very soon so stay tuned for those. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe, like and that notifications bell so you don't miss them. Also if you do want to learn more from Jamie then there's a link under the video to all of his stuff so go and check it out. Alright folks enough from me, enjoy the rest of the trading week and we'll see you in the next video.